Hello, Aquarius. I'm going to do your weekend forecast reading. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and also comment. If you would like to be entered to win a free personal reading, I'm giving away one a week. Um, announce. Bleh. I'm tired. It's almost the end. I'm tired. <laughs> I will announce the winners on Sunday. The winner on Sunday. They're drawn at random. All you have to do to be entered is like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Hashtag weekend. Okay. If you would like to book a personal reading, I'm doing $10 off. We are having so much fun doing those guys. They've all gone so well. It's just a ton of fun. Um, you can shoot me an email. It's in the description box below. We'll get you, get you taken care of, get you booked. What else? This is a general read. It won't resonate for everyone. So take what resonates for you and leave the rest. Check your other placements, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Cross washes. Welcome as always. What else? I'm going to um, I'm going to put you on one side, your person on the other. Feel free to switch it around. Okay, energy is always moving, always flowing, always changing. So sometimes we'll get a mix of both people on both sides. Just take it as it resonates. Okay, take it as it resonates. All right, Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Two of Cups, bottom of the deck. Beautiful. All right. We've got Temperance, card of Sagittarius, the Five of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, the Seven of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, and the Page of Wands. And over here, the Ace of Wands, the Fool, Justice, the Hanged Man, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups with this Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This is not a traditional tarot deck. It's very, very cute. They're so cute. They're animals with people bodies. It's adorable. Those are dolphins. Okay. All right. Put this up here. So first out, we've got Temperance and the Five of Pentacles. I feel like there's a reason you feel lost, cold, alone, abandoned, the universe is working on it. Just know that things are coming in in divine timing. But let's see what we get. Temperance, card of Sagittarius. What is this temperance card for Aquarius? This even could be about money, okay? You could feel like there's just a lack of money, a lack of resources. Things aren't going the way you wanted them to go. You're not coming into the money that you wanted to, or you're struggling to pay bills. That's a common theme in the world today, right? So temperance, what is this temperance about? Yeah, wanting to heal. Thinking about this for a long time, but the universe is, is they've got your back and the sun tried to pop out. The universe has got your back. They're, they get it. They're, it's coming, right? King of swords. There you are. Wanting this healing, wanting this, you know, trying to understand, trying to work hard and do what you're supposed to do. But I do feel like there's a lack of money. There's a lack of resources here. Five of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. You feel very passionately maybe about what you do. You're really trying to work on this. You're really trying to um, get out of this, this kind of like loss energy, you know, going without, being without energy. Seven of Swords. What the heck was that? You know, you may feel like with this fool and the seven of swords, if you started out on some kind of new job, new venture that you really wanted to do, that you really wanted to, to grab a hold of this opportunity, you may feel like it's just not panning out the way you want it to. You're at a loss. You feel like, you know, you, you feel like you took some, some stability away from a situation going after this, this new endeavor, whatever this is. But you did feel passionately about it. You know, you planted some seeds and you're just waiting for them to come to fruition. So this certainly could be about money, guys, right? But this Knight of Wands here, you know, you're chasing chasing the dream, man. Chasing the money. Chasing stability. And it's going to come in. I mean, the Ten of Pentacles wouldn't show up, but it wasn't going to come in. Yeah, there's your happiness. So you are probably already, this is probably for somebody who's already in a relationship and, you know, you're just chasing money right now, right? Everything hinges on money right now. 
And with this seven of pentacles, you're going to start seeing results. It's just not going to come in as fast as you wanted it, or maybe even as fast as you needed it to. King of Cups. You've mastered your emotions. You you know, you're kind of in your feels about this because it means a lot to you. But you're working really hard, you know, to plant those seeds so that things will come to fruition for your future for your family's future, for your for your stability, right? Making choices now that will affect your future, that growth, that passion, that creativity, chasing something that you want. We've got the nine of swords. You are stressed about it. We've got the nine of swords and the page of wands. So you are stressed about this, okay? You have gone after this, this new endeavor, you know, passionately. It's something you felt, you know, like you just really wanted to do. And you could make it work. And you are letting toxic thoughts and energy come in. So, you know, don't do that negative self-talk, right? Don't let that fear overcome you. Don't let that doubt keep going forward. Don't let that, that toxic negative energy creep in. Yeah, your ships are going to come in. Turn your back on this negative energy and look forward because it's coming. Yeah, you're learning, okay? So you maybe have changed jobs and you're doing something you haven't ever done before, but you're learning. You're learning quickly. You're going after it. You're chasing it. You're doing the damn thing, okay? Yeah, and the Wheel of Fortune is spinning in your, in your favor, right? Divine timing is at play. Things are coming in, okay? So here we have this Ace of Wands and the Fool. There was this new opportunity and you jumped, right? I feel like your person is stressed about it too. We have the same thing over here. They agree that it was a that it was a really great opportunity, but now they're worried about money also. Because, you know, they took this leap with you also, but you're their happiness. They're going to stand by you. They love you. They want to be with you. That's beautiful energy. Could have, a, could have a, a baby on the way with this sun card here, which could be why there's so much stress, why there's so much worry about this. So this fool energy, boy, you guys just leapt for it, right? You just went right for it. And they went for it with you. Your person did. They're right there with you. They love you. Look at that. There we go. The sun is like. But they love you. This is your person. And this person is everything you could have ever asked for. I mean, the sun and the ace of cups. That's pretty amazing. The eight of cups. You guys have kind of... Um, You guys are kind of leveling up in a sense. It's like you are kind of have are walking away from the things that you knew, the people that you knew, the places that you knew, um, on your way to somewhere else, right? And you're doing it together, which is truly beautiful. So here we have justice and the hanged man, okay? So here we're going to start to see some results, okay? You're going to start to see things from a different perspective and understand why things are going this way. Understand that they're going to work out. What is this justice? Heart of Libra. The Empress. I do think you may have a baby on the way. The Empress in the tarot is uh, perpetually pregnant. Um, this card is about her being um, a nurturer, a provider. Her ability to create life and nurture that life. And everything is going to balance out. Everything is going to work. I promise. The tower. You may have a defining moment here. You may have a moment where you feel like you lose everything. Tower moments aren't always bad, though. They're, they're you know, the tower falls so that you can rebuild stronger, bigger, better, taller. It's not it's something that's not built on a on a solid foundation. So you may have this moment of everything coming undone before you 
you know, before this balance comes into play or this tower is going to fall and then things are just going to work. Right. So here we have the hanged man, card of Pisces, but hanged man is kind of in this state of trying to understand things, trying to see things from a different perspective. Um, Yeah, nine of pentacles. I think you're going to, I think your money is going to start coming in. You're going to have some, you're going to get some, you know, some, the hanged man in the traditional tarot, he's got that halo around his head, right? He's getting downloads from the universe. He's getting information. He's gaining understanding. He's gaining perspective. He's gaining experience. Sometimes, you know, it, it feels like you're just not moving very quickly, but you are. Here we have the King of Pentacles. So your money is coming up, right? You start out at this Nine of Pentacles. I don't think you're single. I think this is this is a look at where your money is going. And that's, you know, it's coming along. Then you're going to come into this King of Pentacles, right? Stability. And here we have this Queen of Pentacles, right? That pre-Empress. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. I love the Queen of Pentacles. Look at her. Isn't she cute? So, you know, this is your person, you know, on board with you, supportive, strong, stable. She's, you know, maybe feeling a little bit broken, worried, wondering if this is all going to gonna pan out, but she's still standing strong for you. Yeah, she wants you to win too. She sees that this may be an uphill battle. There may be a lot of of turmoil going on in this situation. And that's why you're trying to make this money to, you know, to walk away from a certain, you know, situation or area or something. And with this four of cups, it's just, you're just thinking about it nonstop. You just want to get to where you're going to be. I do feel like there's some place or some situation that you want to get out of. Yeah, you, you may even want to move. And I see I see that coming in for you. You know, this eight of wands is is incoming, right? Growth, opportunity coming right for you. Ace of Swords. And then that this is your kind of aha moment, your clarity, your understanding of why it happened, what you fought for, what you stood up for, how hard you worked, what you worked for, right? Um, cuts away all the BS and you get a new beginning in truth, like a, a fresh start. So here you guys are, okay? Two of two of cups. You're a pair, right? You're wanting this victory. You're feeling a little broken, okay? But your money is going to come in, right? With this ten of pentacles, um, you're out there giving it a giving it a good shake, right? You're going after what you feel strongly about, what you feel passionate about. Um, something that you really want to do and you really want to make work and it's going to work. You've got this strength card, right? You're watching, you're learning. Um, you may even be have, you may even have somebody that you, that's like mentoring you, like you're learning the secrets of this new situation, right? There's a sense of, of loss or regret, but you're going after what you want, this brand new beginning. It's a slow go, right? But you still feel very strongly about it and you want this happiness and you're willing to fight for it. For your family, right? With the Six of Cups. It's a long road, but you're going to make it. Your money is coming in. Queen of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, King of Swords, right? You're going to be able to heal. And then this situation is going to be laid to rest. This is going to be over with this Ten of Swords, right? So you're going to get your come up. You're going to get your money. You're going to get your opportunity. Keep working. Keep going forward. Your person is there with you. They're your ride or die. Okay? I see it. They want you to win just as much as you want to win. Okay? Just understand that everything that happens is going to happen exactly the way it's supposed to. And there may be some moment where it feels like everything is falling apart, but it's in your highest good. All right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you. Okay? Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And also comment, hashtag weekend. And um, if you want to book a personal reading, just shoot me an email. That's in the description box below. And I'm sending you tons of love and light. Until next time.